everybody, Earth Angel here. I'm here to make a video today because God is good and uh, we got some purple derpers going around me and they can suck it. They can suck it, okay? Because they are trying so hard to destroy me and none of their devices are working and none of their tactics are working and the little things that they do where like I drop shit or I don't know how they fucking do that stupid shit. But it don't work. And let me tell you what God does, okay? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Because I'm just so fucking excited. I got to redo this. And maybe not. We're going to leave it like that. Because that's how excited I am that I just did all that. So, whatever. I've learned that, like, they could do something. Oh. So, oh, that's why. Okay, good. So, anyway, they could do something that, like, it activates something inside, like, where you drop something, or, like, you want to pick something up, or you, it, like, flings across the room or something, and, like, I think it's associated with some sort of a grinding metal sound, or those, like, fucking, excuse my language, I'm just really, like, hyped up right now, like, the, uh, the grinding metal sounds, or the, uh, lawnmower thingies, or the, the stupid wee whacker thingies, or, like, you know, the chainsaw thingies, or all that little... All that weird type of grinding, type of a metally noise. Yeah, okay. So, ha, so tell me why I grab my lip gloss, right? So I'm in public now. I'm out in public. I'm at my dad's house. Obviously, I'm driving. And, ha, this is what God's is doing to me. So I'm like doing something. I'm dancing. I'm like fast shaking them off. And I'm like, ah, get up, get up, get up off of me, y'all. And like, eh, y'all can't stop me now. Y'all can't stop me now. Okay, so none of y'all works. None of y'all shits is working no more. Okay, it's gonna flop my little ponytails. So, uh, so, I'm feeling it. Oh, it's a little perfect derby behind me. Should we put them on blast? Can you see? Oh, you can't see them. It's a white, it's a white Ford something. Who gives a fuck? That, excuse me. Who gives a They could pass me. So, I'm going to put my lip gloss on. And, of course, it flips out of my hand. We're just, ironically, it flips out of my hand. Oh, flip, flip, flip. Guess who catches it with her other hand? Oh. Oh, can I just talk about how God just overrid through that? Can we just talk about that? Anywho, um, we're going to let them just sit that back there and simmer. They're probably going to call the cops on me like the last people did. So I was informed by the police not to prey on anybody anymore. But what I will do in a slow... Uh, uh, I make them have to go around me. So I'm down to 38 miles an hour. They're going to have to go around me. They don't want to go around me. <laughs> Boo! It was a white Ford expedition. Okay, y'all. And I would turn my camera around, but I don't feel like it because I have tape on the one side. Because that is the one thing I do. I'm not scared of them anymore. I don't hide from them anymore. But when I'm watching my Netflix and when I'm doing whatever the fuck it is that, excuse me, oh my gosh, I am so vulgar today, Lord. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Um, yeah, so I, I, I tape up the cameras. Absolutely. Because y'all not going to be all up in my face watching what I do. Because it's not being scared anymore. It's not being like all stressed out and frantic. Like, oh my God, they can see everything I do. No, it's, I'm not going to make y'all life easy. Y'all want to spy on me. Okay, cool. Well, I'm not gonna run and hide, but y'all not I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna make it easy for y'all. Try to see through the duct tape, mofos. Mm, okay, just saying. Try to see through the duct tape because it's not gonna work. Hello, officer. You're gonna pull me over? My seatbelt's on. It's just up over. It's right here. It's on. Anywho, back to what I was saying because I say so much. So I was I was originally gonna say got talk about some of these miracles that God's been doing for me, but you all know me, and once God gets me talking, it don't stop. So, first of all, he picked this outfit out for me, okay? I had a totally different outfit in my head, just so y'all know. And, like, all, just like he picked my church outfit out this past week and the week before. I had two totally different outfits I was going to wear to church yesterday and what I was going to wear to church this day, like, last Sunday. And also, um, boop, I got this other image in my head of a whole different outfit that he couldn't even, didn't even thought of. So, this is what I did. Okay, this is what I did. Um, th was it the day I made the video? Did I already talk about it? I don't know if I did or not, but, um, so I had some temptations in my house that I was holding for somebody, and, um, you know, I have been, I've had a life of, um, 
you know, again, I'm no, no complaints whatsoever because to be honest, I will take my entire life of suffering and pain and misfortune and, and maliciousness towards me literally since I was a wee little one up until now. I'll deal with it all for my Lord, okay? Because it, because it just makes me recognize the evil in this world. And in the same breath, it makes me appreciate and, and the magnitude of the Lord and the good within him and the things that he's, the miracles that he's able to do. Because I know my whole entire life, I've known nothing but pain and sadness and, and physical, mental, emotional pain. And like, you know what I'm saying? Like just horrible, 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 horrible things have happened to me my whole entire life. Again, not complaining. Okay about that. So... This is where I've had some, I had some temptations I was holding for somebody in my house, okay? And these temptations are things I like to dabble in once, you know, once in a blue moon before. Well, when I was driving back from my trip, I was like, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? Because I know I'm never going to see this person again. Why am I holding this shit for, you know, anybody? Why is this stuff in my possession? So I looked up at the Lord when I was driving. I was like, you know what, God? I'm going to make you real proud. I'm going to make you real proud. Because let me tell you, now that I know that he's real in his existence, I'm not, whoa, why? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to do nothing deceitful because he knows everything even before it happens. Because I even asked him that question before I left the house. I said, Lord, you know, in my head, because, you know, little people are around being nosy and shit. And certain questions, like I said, I'll ask out loud. And then he'll give me my answers. Again, you gotta listen through your eyes a lot of the times or just in your thoughts or like mainly through your eyes with the Lord. You know, listen through your eyes. It's not gonna be a voice. It's gonna be a thought in your head. It's gonna be an un, an unshakable feeling in the pit in the core of you. It's gonna be a reading that he puts in front of you. It's gonna be number, it's going to be something. It's going to be something like that of the Lord. That's gonna, that's how he's gonna answer you. So I was like, all right, this thought, this question, God, I'm going to have in my head for you. And I thought in my head, and this was the question. I was like, Lord, do you know what's going to happen and what somebody's going to say or do before they do it? Oh, I'm going to say this right. Um, and I, I just felt that I knew the answer because obviously, duh, he's the all-knowing, he's the almighty, he's the, all, he's the most high, he's, he's the creator. Like, duh, I, I, a oh, butterfly just flew by me. <laughs> so, love you. So he's, he has another one, and then another one just said, ah. So, I know, I thought this in my head, so then, um, I'm getting my makeup on or whatever to come out and make this video that he wants me to make, and, uh, I'm, like, thinking, I'm, like, do you know that, like, do you know before they're gonna, the act is gonna be done, before the thought, before the, before the words that somebody's, we got some blinking lights going on, right? Now, this is supposed to activate some shit in my vehicle. Oh, was I, wasn't I supposed to get zapped by my feet in the pedals? Wasn't I supposed to, the sun supposed to come out and like hit the bottom of my foot from something that y'all put up under my pedals? Am I supposed to get whapped or zapped or something? Cause it didn't work. <laughs> I couldn't do that before. Before I'm stressing the fuck out. <laughs> I'm choking on my spit. It's all right, God's got me, give me the Heimlich. So <laughs> I'm not stopping, it really is. So, um, so back to what I was saying, Lord, bring me back to what I was saying. Okay, the question I asked him in, in my head. And, you know, I gave it like, I don't know, 30 seconds later, I grabbed my phone. I'm telling you, this is how he answers me. And it was, I don't remember the time, but it ended up ended up being 1-1 one, one and a 7. I think that's what it was. It was 117 or it ended up to be, it ended up, it was 1 and a, no, it was a 1 and a, no, it wasn't a 1 and a 4 and a 3. I don't know. What all I know, it was two ones and a 7, okay? Can I tell you the only numbers? 1s, 3s, and 7s all day all day so i was like okay okay now miracles so back to these temptations so i had these temptations i'm driving back to him and i'm like i'm driving back you know down to georgia the other day and i'm like lord I, you're real you show me every single day you have a personal relationship with me i know that my calling is far more than being a messenger and i'm realizing it I'm not, he has not divulged that information to me yet. Everything's in his time and in his will. But he has divulged to me that I am most definitely a messenger. I am most definitely have similarities with the Apostle Paul. Um, and, um, you know, like, he's got work for me to do. And, be, and I'm learning that because of my life of time of suffering, 
and you know everything I have done wrong in this world and it wasn't until just more recently that I have completely and totally like realized with Lord with the Lord but it took me like like months and months of this torment from this evil organized crime gang stalking bullshit for me to realize it so but it's cool it's cool it's cool because I wouldn't change nothing for the world because I got my G-O-D you know what I'm saying so so I did that so I got back to the house and I was like hold on Lord let me go inside so I went inside and I went I found where I hid I found where I was hiding I had to hit those couple things more than a couple things but uh, anyway hands I'm passing number three Ooh. At least let's, let me tell you something. Let me go back to what I was saying. Then I'm going to go back to that. Because I won't forget this. Um, so, I'm like, I'll open up the bag. I go to the toilet. I'm like, flush. Other bag. Bloop. Flush. I come outside to my Lord. And I'm like, I look up. He's shining down bright on me. And I'm like, that felt good. I ain't got no, there ain't no temptation now around me. None. Not that, you know, I don't fuck with other people's shit, but I don't need temptation around me. Even though, in, in one way, I was thinking like, ah, well, it's maybe it's good for me to have temptation around for me to be able to avoid the temptation. But it's like, God overrode that thought. Like, my child, you don't even need it in your possession. That's stupid. You know what these people are trying to do to you. Why have anything near you? And in your possession, that will be of stupidness, regardless if it's temptation to you or not. You know what these people do. They'll find it and they'll use it against you or somehow, some way. So that's why I did what I, I was like, mm, my Lord is small. He's small. He's a smart, smart, smart supreme being. So I did that. The next day, which would have been Saturday. Yes, Saturday I did this. Um... You know, I'm a pot smoker. Clearly, I was smoking joints when I was making my videos in the per in the first uh, section, the first part of my uh, channel, were the reason why I originally made the channel. But God works in mysterious ways, and He knows what He's doing. So I'm like, I'm cleaning out my my suitcases and stuff, and I'm like, because I had to pull everything apart, I had to find where I hid this shit. So I'm like, you know what? I haven't bought weed since the beginning of September. I haven't smoked weed. I smoke. I had some roaches left over that I didn't even feel right with smoking because I've been the closer and closer I get to God, the more and more it's like I even read it in one part of the Bible. It was like to to drink is or something to do anything is to drink is to be foolish or something, and to do anything else is just like basically asinine, you know. And I, I'm gonna I don't don't quote me on that because those are not the right words out of the Bible. Um, maybe it was like to drink is to be something and then to do anything else is foolishness. But, um, I don't know exactly how that goes and I would never mis misquote the Lord. And if I do, I like to correct myself. So I'm going to go, that was when I first, when he first started talking to me, that was a couple weeks. I'm sure it's written in my handy daddy notebook somewhere, but, um, it, it's something along those lines. So, you know, now the fact that I know for sure he's around me, he talks to me, he's got a relationship with me. He's got a lot of work for me to do. And um, he's chosen me, and he protects me, and he is there for me. It's like, uh, I'm like, God, do you mind if I smoke a joint? Because I don't know. I mean, you're everywhere. I know I stare at the sun. You're mainly, but you are in the leaves of the trees. You are on the blades of the grass. You are in the, another yellow butterfly just flew by me. He's so happy right now. He's talking through me. Okay. I got another uh, great cemetery. Okay, so, um, <laughs> I love you so much. So, you know, it's like, um, let's talk about, let's talk about, and then I'll be, oh, my, my, ah! okay, that was three or four, right? And then I got my crown of, y'all, this is what he wants. This is what I'm talking about. He wants y'all to see this. Where is this coming from? This is coming from God. He is giving me a rainbow crown of rays of sun right now. I don't even see him. I don't even know where the sun is. It's back there, right there. I don't know. Oh, God. If y'all don't get it, if y'all don't see it, I don't know what when y'all will. <sighs> I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Okay, so miraculousness, the miracles he's been doing in my life. Okay, so and because I've had the history of whatever the history of the pain, and I have always self-medicated. Well, I'm just gonna put it out there. It is what it is. 
So as far as the reefer, I've been smoking marijuana since I was 15 years old, okay? I'm in my early 40s now, okay? Just about every single day of my life, I have smoked weed, okay? Well, on Saturday, oh, I that to you. on Saturday, on Saturday, I, on this past Saturday, cleaned out my one suitcase and I pull out my little bag or my, my grinder and my scissors that I cut my joint with at the end after I twist it up. And I got like 15, 16 packs of rolling papers because I use these, I used to use these specific rolling papers. I could only find them in New York and, and where, you know, where I'm from. So, um, anytime I take a trip up to New York, <laughs> I stop at the corner store and I rack up on my rolling papers and uh, I had them and I'm like, you know what, I had like two little measly roaches the other day that I didn't even feel right smoking. I did. I asked the Lord. He didn't like, the lighter didn't go out, the roach, the, the clip, like, I just was like, it was mainly papers anyway. But because I hadn't been smoking, like, it got me a little like, but I don't need a little from marijuana because you see what the Lord does to me? This is me 100% sober, okay? So why do I need any type of any other, anything other than the Lord? I don't, but he does. So, um, so I was like... I'm about to do this. Oh, I'm about to do this. So I took every single pack of my rolling papers. Oh, gorgeous. Now, oh, I just realized. Okay, I got to tell y'all some miracles you've been doing because that just reminded me. So let me finish this because I just clearly can't stop. And um, I took every single pack of rolling papers. And because people like to dig through trashes of TIs and, you know, try to and, and see what they throw away and whatnot, I did it outside. But I took every single pack of rolling papers. And uh, I put my rod up on me. They gonna be on my video. And I took them and I opened it all in open packs. 33 rolling papers per pack. Opened it up, sprayed it with the awesome. I don't know if y'all know about awesome cleaning spray. It is amazing. Oh, we got more blinking lights. Oh, oh nothing happened. Booyaka. Oh, and then we got the guys with the fucking. What is up? Why do y'all do that? Like how fucking cheesy cornball is that? You got the people with the fucking weed, pardon me, Lord, the stupid ass weed whackers, okay? It is so corny. And they're either doing the weed whacking, like, as you're driving by or as you're walking by, or they're literally walking with the weed whackers on their shoulder with a weed whacker part, that little stringy thingy going around, like, ah, come on now, like, what the hell is that supposed to do? Because more or less, you're highly likely doing something stupid to yourself because if your dumb ass falls the little wicked 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 thing is going to smack your ass in the face not me because i keep going but i don't i don't understand that stupid shit it's so fucking stupid dude oh i gotta get ready ready see he's been on my ass for a little minute he's been on my ass he, he's one of them too he's one of them too anywho back to what the lord wants me to do oh he's falling back now oh is he falling back oh No distress on me, but what I will do, go really, really, really slow. Really, really, all right, now I'm in a 55, we're down to 47. Back to what I was talking about. We ain't gonna look in the rear view mirror because I'm talking to y'all. So, um, and I'm just gonna get off the gas. And he's gonna have to either go really slow with me. Probably he's gonna call the cops on me, I'm sure. Oh my God, she's going so slow. Oh my God, she's making a video in her car without her hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do my cruise control at 39 miles an hour. Well, 38. 38 feels good. Oh, 38. 11. Hey! Anywho, so if he wants to be chilling with me, we gonna talk. So yes, so I took, what was I say, 15 or 16 packs of those um, rolling papers outside. Open each one. Spray with awesome. Spray with awesome. Spray with all, spray with all, boop, drop it, in, drop it in the dumpster, bloop, 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 every single one. You can go around me now. Oh, he doesn't want to go around me. He wants to stay on my ass. Ass, ass. Wants to stay on my ass. He's taking pictures of me. My car broke down. I'm out of gas. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> There was two of them. Two. Like that? Come on now. Come on now. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Probably gonna bust the UE and go back the other way. Um, 
So, yep. So I dropped that in there. I was like, wait, I think I have some in my car, too. I have a, I have a little big lad. So I went in my car and I found a couple more packs. Sprayed it because not not only are y'all not going to go digging through my shit and my garbage and be like trying to use it against me in the court of law or whatever y'all want to do and try your tactics. But y'all not going to use them either, okay? So then I went in my grinder and I poked holes in the screen. I ripped the screen out of it. I opened it all up. I sprayed it with awesome. I put it in dish soap and hot water. Shook it out. Threw it in the dumpster. Okay, my little thing that I had my little cockroaches. My little cockroaches. My little roaches in. For, you know, the Italian pot smokers know that, you know, when you're when you're out of reefer. Listen, man, resin and, you know, resin would do it. And roaches would do it. You roll up a couple roaches, boom, you're good to go. It's like a little salad of smoked reefer. Well, different kinds of reefers. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. No more. Boom. Threw that shit out. Boom. Threw out. The, boom. Threw out every single thing. The little container that I kept my reefer in. Boom. Washed that out and threw it away. I'm never going to buy weed again. I'm never going to buy weed again. Ah, the yellow butterfly just drove by me. It drove by me. It drove by me. It flew by me. It drove by me. It said, whatever. God knows that's the truth. That was, y'all, oh, come on. I can't make this shit up. Okay. So then, I'm like, I look up at him. I'm like, that felt good. I don't need no reefer, man. I don't need nothing. I just need you, Lord, because you have proven yourself to me since my full awakening, since you have given me the, my divine enlightenment, since you have been guiding me, since I have given you my full faith. You have done nothing but prove to me and protect me time and time and time again. You got me all the way, 10 and a half hours, 11 hour drive, all the way up and mainly in the dark with no correct division. I could have never done that. Never. God did that for me, okay? So, duh, why am I not going to believe in my Lord? Another yellow bottom. Oh, come on. <sighs> my voice is about to go. Come on, y'all. I can't make this up. He loves my excitement. He wants this is what you want me to do. Okay, so. So then I look up at him and I'm like, yeah, man. That was right. That felt good. That felt real good. So then I look up, I'm like, now I just got my cigarettes, and that's it. And I keep putting the cigarettes off, keep putting the cigarettes off. But you know what? You know what? I looked, I came back out later that day, and I had another cigarette. And I was like, and this was, this was Saturday. And I was like, you know what, God? I'm not putting you off no more. Because that's all I'm going to do is make an excuse. I have been smoking cigarettes. <laughs> I look up and I see ones. Come on now. I've been smoking cigarettes for 31 years of my life. Cigarettes are a new port at that, okay? Cigarettes are very, very addicting, okay? 31, three decades. I have been smoking cigarettes. Like, faithfully smoking cigarettes, okay? No, we got faithfully up in here. So then I'm like, you know what, God? Mm -mm. This is my last pack of cigarettes. This is it. Ain't no, I'm going to buy one more next week or next month or no, nah, my birthday next year or for New Year's. Nope. Uh -uh, no more excuses. I'm pulling them plugs. I'm stopping that BS with myself. Boom. This is it, my Lord. I looked in. I had nine cigarettes left. I'm like, all right, bet. So I smoked them down. And when I went to sleep Saturday night, I had four cigarettes left. And I knew Sunday is church day. So, you know, he gets me up really early now. I get up between three and four in the morning. Oh my God, more two ones. <laughs> I wake up early in the morning and uh, I, you know, I have my coffee, go outside and smoke my cigarette and watch all my drones and the aircrafts above. Like, what are y'all really doing? Anyway, smoke my cigarette. I got three left. So I went out. I ended up falling back to sleep for like, I don't know, a half hour. So I got back up, had another cup of coffee, went outside. And before I started getting ready for church, I smoked my last cigarette. My, my, I, I was down two cigarettes, so I smoked my third, my third out of three, you know, my second out of four cigarettes left, so I had two cigarettes left, so I'm like, all right, bet, this is what I'm going to do to myself, I and another, oh, that's a red cardinal, I asked him for a cardinal the other day, <laughs> okay, the red cardinal's really good, fine, so I'm like, you know, um, I'm actually going to probably do a little, dr -dr 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 -dr, and, uh, um, cause I, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, I'm like, you know what? I got two left. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 
me. Signs everywhere I go. Oh, guess who's gonna do that too? Y'all wanna do it through through? Get behind me. Guess who's gonna do it through through and go opposite of you? All right, so I gotta do a little through through through. Meow 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 meow. Mhm. Stacy does through through with me. Oh, y'all think I'm going that way? Oh no 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 no, my dear. Oh no, my loves. I'm going. Ooh, they thought I was going that way. He did a U-turn to get behind me to go that way, and I went the complete. I did a 180. <laughs> oh, kind of like representation of what I does have done in my life—a complete 180. Oh snap! That just worked out. Okay. So um, anywho, so yeah, so I smoked my last cigarette yesterday at about what 12:30. I'm away from church. I threw the ashtrays away in my car. I have not smoked a cigarette since. I have not had the, the the urge to smoke a cigarette and nothing. I don't want a cigarette. I don't have cigarettes. I'm not going to buy another. I don't even have money for another pack of cigarettes right now. I don't even want another pack of cigarettes. I'm not, I'm not going to. I don't want no marijuana. I don't want nothing, y'all. 31 years of smoking. And I just was like, nope. Eh. Because this is the strength that the Lord's given me. This is what God has done for me. 31 years of smoking. My life ain't easy by the least bit. No complaints. Love my not easy life. Because in my not easy life, I have discovered the Lord and the power within Him. We got a one-lighter behind me, y'all. Mm, is this supposed to bother me? Y'all see him? He's falling back. He got the one-lighter. He got the one, uh... His one parking light or whatever. The, yep, you see it. You see it. All right. They don't do nothing to me. Hold oh, on. There was a cop, so I don't know if he's going to be up here chilling. Okay, y'all. 31 years smoke a boat. I don't even want one. I was, so then, all right. So let me see. I got like 20 minutes left to talk. Maybe not even. Okay, so I did that. God did that. Not me. The Lord did that. Okay. Okay. So now, ooh, can we get an amen? I, I was going to hold my Bible up. I can't hold the Bible up because I'm gonna, he's going to think that I'm like throwing up, throwing something out the window apparently. Because apparently holding a Bible up with a rosary and praying is, is the equivalent to opening your window and throwing shit out at people. <laughs> you got something hanging from under your car, my dude. It's like, brrr. I don't know what it is, but I'll get it checked out if I were you. <laughs> Just saying. Like, God forbid it, it's like. It, you know, gets you into an accident. I hope it doesn't. But anywho, so, yeah. So, that's happened. That's happened the past three days of my life. And, um, let's see. Um, what are you, okay. What am I getting down to now? I'm getting to, like, 15 minutes. All right, this is going to be a little bit to talk about. So, um, so, um, yeah, um, so yeah, I haven't wanted a cigarette. I haven't had the urge for a cigarette. None of that. I just, all I do literally is read the Bible. And then I actually, since, you know, when I, you know, I will do where like sometimes when I'm, when I first started, I was doing wherever, and I still will. When I'm outside and the wind's blowing and it flips pages and it stops on a specific page, I will read that because that is always, always what he wants me to read or talk about. But I was like, you know what? Nah, man, I got to get up in this bad boy. I got to start from the beginning and just go all the way through and then do it again and then do it even a third time because every time you, you know, you read something, you, you discover more and more. And I study, like, it took me a minute to get through Genesis. When I got through Genesis this morning, he woke me up at like 3.30. I got up, I got my coffee, boom, I started, I finished the Genesis. But, um, and I was, I, I got the... Look at that. Look at, look at, look at, that's all high. I like that. That's all sparkly. Good. I like the heaven. I bet the heavens are all sparkly and paradisey like that. I like that. That's why he probably want me to wear a crown hat with sparkles. <laughs> I feel you. Oh, he's right there. Okay, so I'm getting off track. I'm running out of my little time because all of a sudden now I got I got I got minutes. I got a countdown again. Before I can make hour long videos, now I got a little whatever. It's all right. It's all right, Lord. I got out most of what I wanted to say and some. So I was praying now. Y'all see how excited I get. I am 100% sober. I am just filled with the Holy Spirit, with the Lord, with unconditional, overflowing, overabundant, never too much, overgrowing love in my heart and joy and happiness in despite of everything worldly that's badly happening to me because I got God. So, duh, why, why would I not be? 
right? So, and not to mention, I just stopped smoking cigarettes 30 years, 31 years. What you talking about? Should I be like, oh, and I got my period. So should I be like, oh, you miserable mofos and like flipping people off? No, we're still praying for them. Cause God is good. God is amazing. God is spectacular. God is magnificent. Okay. So I called my mother yesterday to tell her the good news. I just told my dad about, um, you know, you know what I did with, you know, the marijuana. Even though he's 85 and it's, you know, it's, you know, can't re- he, he's, he's not the, the way he used to be mentally. It, it, it's just fact of life. Um, but um, so he can't com- comprehend things the way he used to and follow me the way he used to and, you know, whatever. But I still I, I let him know what I did and I told him I was like I got a couple more cigarettes, Daddy, and that's it. So I got excited, so I'm like, my mother would love to know this, right? So, because I've been thought I've been rebuilding my my bond with her, but um, whether she wants to watch this or not, I don't really care. She's um, you know what? No, nah, we're not gonna do that. No, God said don't do that. Um, so anywho, you know, people have their beliefs. We're gonna put it that way. Um, so I'm like calling her. I am hyped up, okay? Hyped up, like I am so proud of myself because these hurdles. God has moved these mountains within me that I would have never, I was like, I will do, I will always kind of, I will always smoke weed, I will always smoke cigarettes, I, I ain't never going to stop, I've smoked it my whole life, why would I stop? No, not with God, that way it's the same cop that just passed me going the other way. <laughs> Anywho, I love you, thank you for your services. Let's even whip around, let me just, let me just, let's just do that, it's on, let's just put it this way. In the event, he wants to do a little Um, so mm. Anywho, back to what I was saying So God has moved these mountains So, you know, I want to share my joy I want to share everything with my loved ones The only few handful of people That I have in my life, in my side That are true to me mm. Mm, Maybe Anyway, um, God lets me know so I'm like all like, ha, da, da, and my, I did this, and my, I did that, and da, 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 da. And she, oh, this is, this is all I hear. Oh, my God. And she sounds distressed in my happiness and in my good, my talking about God and me, talk, and me not just talking about him, the energy levels. And it's bothering her. Okay. So needless to say, my mother needs a break from me right now. That's not out of my mouth. So, but it's like, you know, it kind of, it it weighed heavy in my heart. You know, it's like, you know, so, you know, and, uh, you know, like, whatever. I just, I'm not going to put everything, you know, because there are things that me and Lord are talking about that's just between solely me and him. But, um, as another yellow butterfly just flew by me. Okay, was that seven right now? (laughs) Ooh, and that means I was right. What I was just saying between you and I, yes, my lord. So, um, but anyway, I prayed so hard. I ended up being a little emotional when I was praying. And like when I pray, like I said, I have my hands. I have my oh, my other rosaries in my pocket. I got my two rosaries. You know, I got this one, this one, and um, I wait till this person passes me so I don't think I'm throwing something out the window. You know, I do my sign across, and when I, I, you know, I'm kneeling or sitting, and I have my head down. On the Bible, that's how I pray. And uh, what was I gonna say? So, you know, and I, I'm getting a little emotional in my prayers. You know, I, I never ever pray for myself. All I do is give things, and the way I pray is, is between God and I. But I do my cert, I do things in sections. And you know, I have my special prayer section um, after other prayers that I say and, and other gratitudes and other things I talk to God about. And these are for individuals that I know need help or people that are struggling, people I know, anything along those lines. Oh, we got the other weed whackers going. Oh, weed whacker one. We, that's the guy I was walking with on his shoulder. Weed whacker two. Oh, come on. Blinking lights. Anyway, I got 10 minutes left, so I'm going to have to wrap this up. Because me wrapping it up is not really wrapping it up. Me wrapping it up is this video call. Oh, weed whacker guy walking with it on his shoulder. Oh, he had a double weed whacker. He was, what? Anyway, okay, nope, nope, nope. Got you, Lord, focus. So, um, you know, I, w- I was, you know, like asking God, you know, whatever, just for a little more strength and, you know, telling him, please, 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 I'm so sorry, my shortcomings, I feel like that, I know better, and I feel like I'm, I'm a little weakened today, and, you know, I just beg for his forgiveness, you know, that I know better than to allow my, another, another yellow butterfly just went by me. 
I know better than, you know, whatever. I'm stronger than that. I know better. And then I apologize that I felt I had to ask him for more strength and that I should be praying for other people and not myself and blah, 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 whatever else him and I talked about and I, I divulged to him. You know, I got some tears coming out and they're going on the Bible and, um, you know, and he, I got really tired last night and, um, you know, I ended up falling asleep early. I hear you. I hear you. And, uh... I end up falling asleep early, which is probably why I woke up at 3.30 in the morning. And is that, that is a magnificent, majestic bird that just flew over me, and I love him so much. And, um, okay, I gotta get, I gotta wrap this up. So anyway, so I did that, so, and I, you know, I did my prayers, and I ended up falling asleep, and I woke up early, so, another yellow butterfly! <laughs> I can't make this up! Okay, God, I hear you. Hurry up. Um, or I'll just make another video. It'll take them, it'll, they aren't going to make this take seven hours of post, but we'll make another video after that seven hours. So I, um, you know, so this morning I'm up super early and instead of my dad getting up and walking the dog, I'm like, well, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. So I'm not getting outside really getting my energy, getting the air and the, getting up in the sun to smoke cigarettes. So I was like, I think I should walk the dog today. Sutton told me to walk the dog. And my dad usually wakes up when I start moving around in the morning. So, you know, I made my coffee again. Um, I made a second cup of coffee. I got changed. I was like, yeah, I, I was like, I need to walk. I need to be, I need to be in God. And it was foggy out this morning when the sun, when the sun had came up or whatever. So, um, you know, I get the dog. I put my sweats on, my hat, not this one, another hat, whatever. I change sneaker socks. And I'm like, come on, bud, let's go outside. So I go to take him out. And, you know, it's really, really foggy out and you can, I can see the full sun, but it's like a couple layers of clouds and fog is through it, but I just stepped, I just, I just stepped on my tongue, I just bit my tongue and then got a listen at the same time. So I'm looking, but I'm like, mm hmm and I'm noticing like the birds are like, like they're doing now, they're like flying towards me like that one just did. As I say that, he knows, God, come on. So they're flying, what do I got on time? I got like six minutes, seven minutes. So they're flying towards me and they're perching themselves right on the lines as I'm walking by them. But they're in twos. Well, a couple of them were singles, but they're in twos and threes mainly. And I'm looking up at them and I'm just like, okay, God, I feel you. I hear you, God. And I was like, thank you. Good morning. There's some deer on, there's a lot of deer on the street. Now, normally I got a Rottweiler. I'm off with a Roddy, okay? And I gotta start talking faster. And um, when you see a deer, when the deer see him or me, a human, what do they do? They put their tails up and they book. Boom, 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 they book, they book. Even when I'm like, no, 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 don't run away, stay near me. I got a cigarette, they're smelling the cigarette and they got the, and I got a Rottweiler. So they're like, whoa, a dog, hell no, big dog at that. So, um, there, <laughs> there's a couple deer that I'd like, no, I lied, not the deers yet. Okay, so that being said, so the birds, so I'm coming around about halfway through walk. I do about a mile or so walk with the dog. And I'm coming, it's like a big cir oval circle or whatever, oval circle. You know what I'm saying? So, um, ooh, got five minutes. So I'm coming around, I'm around, coming around to the, like, where the last part of the circle. And, uh, like, like a half mile in. And all of a sudden, this dog, this older dog, starts running up to me and my dog. And now, my boy's not, you know, he's not neutered. I, I did want to stud him. You know, he's older now. He's eight. But, um, you know, I don't, he's not aggressive. What, I've only seen the scruff of my dog go up twice, and that was up in New York. Okay, I've never seen the scruff of him go up, up down here. So, um, this dog is coming up, and I'm just like, oh, man, I don't know what's going to go on. So, I'm like, okay, buddy, you know, it's all right. And the dog is older, and, and you know, it's limping over. And I'm like, I've never seen this dog. So, he's, she, I think it was a she, comes up to my dog. I got to look at my time. And, um, and like, I'm letting them do the thing where they smell each other's butt. My dog's got his, you know, he's erect with his head in his ears, but his tag, tag is wagging. His tail is wagging. So I'm like, all right, he's chilling. And I'm like, all right, buddy, we're going to go. I was like, I'm, and I'm looking to her little, her nails were mad long and all the way on. I just felt so bad. I'm looking and, and my dog is being amazing. Usually he's all hypey trying to mount things and like, you know, whether it's a male or a female, he wants to mount you know, mount the male to prove that, you know, hey, I'm a dominant breed, I'm going to dominate you when he wants to mount a female, because he's like, hey, I'm going to get some of that, girl, I want some of that, but uh, I'm not going to crossbreed, but, um, so, I look up, and, and, like, she's, like, and my boy's being amazingly good, and, uh, you know, I look behind, and she's following us, I'm like, okay, just don't walk in the road, God forbid, I don't want you to get hit, I got four minutes, 
So no sooner than I come around the corner, the next, the last little flippy of a corner of the like half, first half mile, and there is a little kitten sitting in the grass. And I'm like, oh my God, I got a Rottweiler, little kitten. This little kitten gets up and starts running to me. Okay, let's me pick it up, this feral kitten. Okay, I'm like, oh my God, you're so cute. My dad would kill me. I already have four cats and a dog. So I'm like, oh my God, I love you so much. And it's just love. And I'm just like, so I put it down and I'm like, all right, my dog, he wants to like smell it. So I'm like, all right, but we're not going to scare the baby. And we put it down. Like feral cats don't do that. So then I start walking my dog and out of the woods runs another kitten. Runs right to me. And I look back and I got the other kitten running after me. I got the dog behind it running after me. I got the other kitten running after me, coming at me from across the street. I'm like, I got the birds flocking to me on the lines. I'm like, I, like, God, this is you. So then I get down to my knees. A third kitten comes out and comes over to me. I felt like Snow White. I swear I got three minutes to talk. I felt like Snow White, but it was like, I just was like so overwhelmed with love and happiness that like I just literally had to drop to my knees in the middle of the road and just put my hands up like God this is you if this ain't you I don't know what is if they if these people around me this evil don't see I don't know what they will so so then I'm down in the little kitten and then a fourth kitten comes out of the woods and runs at me and I'm like oh my god so I'm walking my dog who's being amazing two minutes is being amazing and I, got, I look around, I got all these animals following me. I got the birds flocking on the, on the wires above me. I got, I got a parade of animals following me. I look up, I come, coming up ahead of me is another cat coming out of the woods. And I don't know if it was a kitten or not. These two birds are coming at me. <coughs> and that was gross. And then the deer. And the deer. So then I got deer at the houses. They're like, I don't know, 10, 15 feet away. They are literally by twos coming up to the road where I am walking and they're standing there and looking at me. They're not running the other way. They're, wa they're walking by twos on each side of me up to the road. Like, and I'm just like, and then I turn around and they're following me too. <laughs> Yo, my phone's about to cut off in literally one minute, y'all. Okay, if that's not God working, trying to show people, I don't know what is. I got to show what I got to make when I get back to my house. I got to try to get this one up because there's another miraculous thing I got to talk about. It has to do with bees. But um, I love y'all. Thank you for listening. I do not want this the video to cut off while I'm talking. Um, it's already bad enough that like when I posted, like my mouth and my face is looking all crazy and shit. Hope we got some more blinking lights happening. But I still got 30 seconds to talk, so... Ain't gonna work go me and these guys are shov shovels and hoes and shit. Okay. But um thank y'all for listening. Um I'm gonna continue to make these videos. God is so good. I will never make or force nobody to believe nothing, but I'm gonna keep making these videos like God wants me to do. I'm gonna keep talking about it and how these evil organized crimes there's another butterfly, these devil's minions ain't gonna do shit to me no more. They can't. Their tactics don't work because you can't trump the Lord. You can't overwrite the Lord. How y'all gonna beat the Alpha and the Omega?